what's popping if you've already seen our amazon barbie doll haul video you got a sneaky peeky at this playset that i'm reviewing today this is gypsy and i'm going to show you the gloria brand entertainment set for 12 inch dolls it is not made by mattel for barbies so please be aware of that guys i purchased the set on amazon for around 12 bucks and you can likely find this on a number of websites for various prices search around i don't know what's available in certain nations when it comes to these types of products and online shopping so the box gives us a general look at what we can expect in the set there are also assembly instructions printed on the side of the box let's take out the pieces and see what we have on our hands everything has to be assembled so i suggest looking at the instructions they're not written instructions only illustrated diagrams but if it makes you feel any better i didn't actually use the instructions to put my pieces together it took a little while but i just treated this set like a 3d puzzle and i figured out where everything was supposed to go so it's not rocket science everything is packaged neatly into these plastic packages there are a number of small pieces that may be choking hazards for your young toddlers so please monitor and help your children with the assembly process of this set if you get this for your kids. I thought at first that the four packages had everything divided by the pieces that belong to certain parts of the set. Apparently that is not so. The stuff is just mixed up. So you can't go one package at a time as you assemble. You do have to open all the packages to make sure that you have all the pieces you need for different parts of the set. It's also designed so you can just push the pieces together and everything just snaps in place. You're not supposed to need adhesives to keep the pieces intact. However, I advise you to use some level of glue to hold some of the edges in place because not everything stays together well. I will show you what I mean in a little bit. Alright, so let's get to the highlights of this set. Firstly, the scale of the pieces is really on point. Most Barbie furniture seems to be a little bit too small for the dolls and they're not quite right in scale, but this set seems very accurately sized. So there's plenty of space for my dolls to sit in this seat. Also, the box has a certain color scheme shown, but my set didn't come in those same colors. For example, the stereo system is silver on the box, but the set I have is actually black. Bear that in mind when you're looking at the packaging of some of the Gloria sets, they may not match in color with whatever you get inside the box. Here are some stickers that go on the appliances. They're pretty retro looking with the VHS player and some of you guys are watching this like, what the heck is a VHS? <laughs> but I grew up with this, cassettes and all that, so I do like these stickers and I'm going to use them. You can always use custom printouts to make your system more up to date looking. Just use images from online, print them out in the right dimensions and glue them on everything was put together i will show you what we have the most difficult thing to put together was this cabinet thingy down here because it was hard to keep the doors in the hinges while i worked hey what are these things called i don't know whatever this furniture piece is and the front of the stereo speakers keep popping off so that's a little bit annoying hey look at this piece that goes on the speakers doesn't the inside look like a shelf I think it does. It could probably be used as a shelf and like I could probably just put some cardboard behind the actual speakers themselves and get the same effect. So I might actually do that. Um, but you do have to glue these edges down in order to keep it from popping off all the time. And there are some parts of this set that have that same issue. Like for example, the stereo. The front, it won't stay pushed down well. But this is a very minor issue that can be fixed with glue. I'm going to hot glue mine down after I customize everything. Oh yeah, and this also comes with a fake little record. I think this is really cute. And other than the ghastly color, the whole set is pretty cool. Also, the cabinet doors open so you can put stuff down there. This middle shelf is removable, but you do have to take the doors off to take it in and out. So if you don't want that shelf in there, you can just leave the shelf out all together when you're assembling this. And then you'll have a little bit more space. But I do like the shelf, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Now, the chair was super easy to put together. I'm going to change the color. It also comes with a pillow. The TV is my favorite thing about this set. It's actually quite large. 
It's really retro looking and the screen is contoured so it curves outward just like those old school TVs really did. And you can change the screen on the inside by removing this cardboard strip on the inside. All you gotta do is pop off the frame of the TV and then use a different strip of paper. Have whatever screenshot you wanna use to make it look like they're watching different TV shows. And check out these details on the back where the wires are supposed to get plugged in. That's pretty cool. Here's the DVD player. It's got a VHS player attached at the top. This thing is so old school looking. I don't know why the top looks like it's so scratched up, but it's not a big deal. You can add detail by taking small pieces of foam and gluing them onto the knobs and the buttons, or you could use paint and just color them in. And next, there was another little table as well, and that's supposed to fit in a corner. There were two pieces, the top part and the bottom, and then the side just snapped in place to keep all of it together. I think the entire set is pretty great. I'm happy with the purchase and I'll be trying out more Gloria sets in the future. All of these pieces can be separated and spread around in different rooms of your dollhouse. Oh, and let me show you how this looks from the back. I gotta say, this stuff really does rival Mattel's brand of furniture for the realism and the ease of assembly and especially the price. Now, let me show you how I customized everything. All right, so here's the footstool customized. All I did was spray painted the legs silver and then the top black. I did the same thing with the chair. I re-upholstered the pillow by changing the pillow case. And here is the rest of the set. I did silver on the back of the speakers and I left the front black. I didn't do anything to the stereo itself because I couldn't really make up my mind if I wanted it to be silver or black or what. I spray painted the TV silver um, on the back part and I also did the antenna. Here is my little stack of videos. I'll show you a trick. These are an optical illusion. Just a piece of paper with an image of a stack glued to a piece of foam. You can make something like this with books, DVDs, or whatever else you want to have up here like a stack of stuff and then just glue your paper to cardboard or foam so that it can stand on its own. That's what I do because I'm freaking lazy and that saved me a whole lot of time but got me the effect that I wanted. I also did a little mini craft making video cassettes for the VHS player. I made the cases separately out of paper that I printed. Then I made the little VHS tape to put on the inside of the case out of foam and paper. I double sided the tape so that both sides had a front label on it. This way, no matter what angle it's in, it always looks like it's the front of a tape. Check it out. Here's a Spike Lee's Malcolm X movie. It opens like this, and then there's a tape in there, and on the screen of the TV, I have a screenshot of the Malcolm X movie. Yeah, so I have a couple of different movie printouts, and I made it so that you can like basically switch out the screens whenever I want so that was pretty fun and here's Vienna chilling on the seat she is so comfortable here it's just the right size as I previously stated some of the pieces will be better once reinforced with glue which I'll do now that I have finally finished customizing my set what you're seeing here is the inside of one of my handmade dollhouses I know you guys are waiting for a full tour of it and I swear I did not forget just need to finish the final touches and it will be ready for touring. So, please hang in there. I've got so many projects and videos to get to, so I appreciate you guys' patience with me. But if you want to see more photos and get behind the scenes updates, go and check us out on Instagram. Let's follow each other there. Leave me a comment with your YouTube username over on Instagram and I'll follow you back. Or better yet, leave me your Instagram handle in the comments of this video and I'll look you up and we can follow each other. Subscribe now so you can stay on top of our newest videos as soon as they're uploaded. I hope you're feeling happy, healthy, and safe wherever you are joining me from. I'll talk to you soon and I have a dolly day. Till next time,